Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how to install a Bluetooth um, receiver module in your car. And this can be installed in pretty much any car that has an auxiliary input um, and a stereo system. So here's how I did it on my Audi A1. And uh, I'll be showing you uh, the few steps that I did. Okay, so to start off, um, as you can see, there are these two holes right here. And uh, these are so that you can remove this entire section at the front. Uh, it basically just slides out like a like a cassette. I took I simply took this uh, blade. As you can see, it's uh, just a normal um, blade with uh, with a curved edge at the end. And um, I taped two of them together on each side. And what you have to do is you slot the thing in and. When you slot it in, you have to push and just wiggle it slightly to the left and right, and eventually you will feel uh, you will feel that it will become loose. You might want to apply some pressure as well, because that will make uh, this notch um, loosen up more easily. Uh, and you have to use so you would have to use two um, on both sides. You might want to get a friend to help you uh, so that he can pull and push at the right time. Um, so yeah, I'll be removing that and then I'll show you how it looks on the inside. Okay, so this is how the multimedia section looks like without the lid. And uh, as you can see here on the side, I've built in uh, the Bluetooth chip, which is the blue chip actually. Uh, I've built it in right underneath the CD player because it, I just found uh, the perfect space for it. I mean, as you can see, the, the leads uh, and the wires, they fit perfectly right in there. Um, so, just to quickly explain how I did it, um, I have taken uh, power, the 12 volt supply, from my main power cords. And you should take a multimeter and check uh, which one's which, just to make sure that you're on the safe side and that you um, don't short circuit anything. Um, accidentally, I have uh, short circuited the Bluetooth uh, receiver. However, it didn't break uh, because I'm assuming that there is a diode uh, not permitting the circuit to go the other way around, um, which is pretty good. So this circuit board is very safe uh, for DIY users which don't know exactly what they're doing and they might screw up on the way. Um, now, I've taped this together over here just to hold everything in place. However, as you can see, uh, everything is removable. I mean, this cable comes right out and uh, you can take every cable out and remove this whole section. This is how I made it in, in, in my workshop. Um, so as you can see, when nothing is connected, the two blue LEDs start switching around like you can see in the reflection right there. And if I turn my Bluetooth on, my Wi-Fi too, then it should stop to actually do that. As you can see, that was the connected sound. Now we are live, basically. And if we go into the music app, just play a song. You can see it works. And it works really well, actually. I've tested this and you can literally walk about 15 meters away from the car and I'm talking about the back of the car not the sides where you have less interference um, absolutely no lag no issues nothing this is a really good Bluetooth receiver actually uh, for the money I mean this was uh, only about 20 pounds with shipping so it's really jokes um, if you flip this around you will be able to see how I connected everything up now I made my custom connector because Audi's connector is a bit complicated and I didn't want to use that. I didn't want to damage it or anything. So what I've done uh, was I built my uh, own little connector with the exact same leads as the one from Audi. And you can uh, usually, on a good uh, stereo system, find uh, the writings and the inscription of what is what. The microphone cable goes from here under the glove box, right on the sides. And up here and into this section here, um, I found that 
this hole right there was the perfect one uh, for fitting in the microphone and it worked uh, really well actually as you can see the bulb is flashing so you know we're on Bluetooth and if I just take my phone take me to London getting directions to London bed and breakfast Okay, I didn't really want a bed and breakfast now, but yeah. Anyhow, uh, as you can see, it works fine. And uh, it wasn't using the microphone of the phone because it is actually connected to Bluetooth. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It is connected to Bluetooth. This is Bluetooth 4.0. The Bluetooth that they're building in is Bluetooth 2.0, uh, which is the worst Bluetooth ever. It lags. It's slow. It ruins your battery. I mean, you will not be able to uh, run your phone all day and drive around and stuff like that without your battery getting sucked to death. Um, there's just no way. And um, this is this works pretty well. Um, I've also tried calling friends and they, they can hear me fine. So the audio processor on the, on the Bluetooth is fine. It, it works. Um, and it only costs 20 pounds uh, plus shipping. So um, I definitely recommend DIYing and one of the important things is remember that when you buy uh, one of those standard uh, Bluetooth receiver modules such as this one which is a very good one actually it's, it's got decent uh, range and audio quality as you can see here uh, you've got um, even a USB power out which you might want to use and your auxiliary out just focus that. Um, now this is useful. However, one of the issues with this is that when you take uh, your key out, for example, as I will do in just a second, you lose power to uh, your 12 volt supply, meaning that when your car is in a standstill, you cannot use your audio. The good thing about this chip and why I recommend buying this one is uh, because you can hook up your auxiliary as well as your Bluetooth. And depending on which one you want to use, if your friend bling brings an iPod or something and you want to use the iPod instead, it will take the auxiliary input. If you got a phone call uh, while driving, for example, it will kill the auxiliary and it will uh, direct uh, to the Bluetooth and you will be able to have a conversation without um, music in the background. Now, I find this a really useful thing and um, I definitely recommend everyone getting it. The only reason is many cars who don't have Bluetooth um, are posing a danger while driving because people uh, don't pay enough attention when they're driving and it's really annoying when someone's on the phone and in Macedonia which is where I come from people keep having their hands off the steering wheel I don't know why they think that's a clever idea there's accidents every day happening but Bluetooth telephony inside your car is a must-have and even if it's an older car, you can fit this very easily and be just a safer driver. So that's the only reason why I actually did this. Because I don't want to look down on my phone. I don't want to fiddle around with it all the time. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, find how to connect this button to the COM button. So the communications button on the Bluetooth. So that I just have to press this and Siri will activate which is definitely useful. I mean, you can tell Siri anything from playing a song to calling a friend to making a note, whatever it is that you need to do, there's no way that you should have to look at your phone and that's why Siri is so useful. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting this and um, yeah, DIY your stuff, guys. It's really cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.